Hi guys, it's Dave with Tactical Hive. Today we're gonna to do a little film on a uh, topic we covered a little while back on just these little pieces of kit that we don't think about how much they really save your, save your time, right? So we've all had, you know, we've all had a gun, for whatever reason, fails to extract and you get around hung up deep into the chamber, right? And the problem with doing it is now I've got to either try to A, dig through my kit, find a Leatherman, we've all done this. You're digging, 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 digging. And what I really need to do is get my gun up and running to find this piece of kit, get it open. And now like try to reach up in there and clear that, which we all know this is gonna take forever. It's not gonna work well. The other one we fall back to is we fall back to the knife. We pull our knife out. We try to grab the tip of it. Again, I can't do it here either. It's, it's a pretty deep, pretty deep set in this one. All right, so we all try it. What I showed you guys, uh, a few months back was something that I had learned in one of the courses I'd gone to previously. And again, like I spent most of my adult life doing this and it took someone else in the school to say, hey, why don't you think about this? Wow, so I've kept this on my kit ever since then and I, and I use it explicitly. It's nothing more than a paint can opener on tied off the piece of 550 string and I keep it close off to my right hand side. In previous videos, we talked about how I, when I'm doing an emergency reload with my rifle, I always go to one side. I don't work across my kit. So I keep it off to my right. So as I start to rehash my kit, I don't run in the risk of grabbing it by accident. If I do, it's tied off. I can drop it. I'm not gonna lose it. But it's just a simple paint can opener. And now all I have to do is find the problem, rip it out, look up in there. Sometimes you, you can't go, if it's really deep, you can't go straight on this side. So you come from the back side, you grab the, the casing. And it's out. That would have never came out that easy with a knife or with a Leatherman. It just simply won't. I get my gun back up and running. I get back up in the fight. Again, depending on what's going on, me getting this gun back up and running, depends on whether I just throw this to the side and keep dealing with the immediate task at hand or I have time to, I simply just wrap it up. I have found when I stow this in my kit that you have to think about where this foot is and how your webbing is. I've stowed it with the foot away from me before and sometimes that'll hang when I'm trying to pull it out. So I prefer to take it and have that foot towards my kit and I slide it in right at the top of my carrier, stays right here, easy access for me to grab. I can do it with gloves, without gloves, but it's a great, great method for clearing a hung round in your chamber. If you like this and you'd like to see more like this, then uh, please like and subscribe and uh, let us know your thoughts on it. Thanks guys.